Hi everyone, my name is Sanchari and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the live chat functionality for your society during the virtual activities fair. It's basically how to use this tiny little thing over here for your society to chat to new students during the fair. So the first thing you might want to do is check your University of Sheffield email address to look out for an email like this. You've probably been invited by me to create an account on Talk. If not, then don't worry, you'll definitely get an invite before the day of your activities fair. If not, you can always drop us an email about it. So the first thing you have to do is click on create account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to click over here. And that should hopefully take you to this web page where you have to click on sign up free. Now, when you click on sign up free, you'd have to enter your University of Sheffield email address and then create a password that you can pass on to your other committee members. So if you're not available to talk to new students throughout the day, then you can give those same login credentials for talk to your other committee members and they can chat to new students as well. So basically, every society will have only one talk account. So I'm just going to click on login for now. And that should take you to your society's dashboard. Um, this is where your society's name should appear. If you're a president of more than one society, then you'd be able to see all the societies in this space. And now I'm just going to show you how the chat function will actually work. So this is the front end of the society, which is Digital Demonstration Society. And I'm just going to send myself a message as a new student. So the moment I click on send, I'm going to receive, I'm going to hear this, this ringing sound over here. So what you have to do is click on this box and click on join. And you're in um, with chatting with a student. And if you just reply, and this is how the student is going to view it on the front end. Again, this is this just works like a normal messaging app. So can I please know more? And then you just receive like a notification over here. And then you can just type whatever you want. Um, so this is essentially how it's going to work. And you can like talk to your talk to the student. Um, and if the student, for example, minimizes the chat window, you'd get a notification for that as well. If the student decides to end the chat session, so yeah, and then you'd get a notification for that as well. Um, so you can see the visitor has ended the chat. Um, so if that, that same student wants to talk to you again, he can, first of all, he or she can email the transcript of the conversation that they've just had with your society by typing out their email address. If not, then they can just start a new chat. And again, if they type something and hit send, then you're going to receive this ringing, this ringing sound again. And you just have to click here again, click on join and you're in again. So you can just reply and talk to that student. So when you have, when you're receiving multiple um, when you're receiving multiple students queries, then you'd be able you'll be able you'll be able to see all those students in this space. So this is where you can click on like different societies, uh, sorry, different uh, students and talk to them. So yeah, that's about it. Best of luck.